We are the Prepper Broadcasting Network. PBN family, the scarcity of truth has come to light. The scarcity of truth has come to light. People are seeing it. You can see it. You can feel it. You can reach out and touch it. You recognize it from afar, don't you? See people who make their living on lies. And it stinks. Gives you, gives you a face like you smelled something like death. Right? The death of one's soul. The death of one's integrity. It's all around us. Media. Whew, the media. They refuse to tell the truth. They refuse to have anything to do with truth. And they refuse to return to a story that has been proven to be false, to redact, to to earn any bit of integrity whatsoever. Ernest Hemingway said the truth has a certain ring to it. And we're entering an age where that ring is going to resound louder than ever. You're going to recognize it. You're going to see it. It's going to start to have power again. You know? Because what happened with truth? Well, truth got painful. We got soft and truth got painful. And we couldn't take the truth anymore. So people started to come up with lies. And those lies made it all the way into the law books. But it made people feel good. They didn't have to face the mean old truth, right? They didn't have to face the nasty truth. And I think that's why suicide is the way it is in our nation. Suicide is out of control because we don't want to face the truth about ourselves. Because we don't understand that on the other side of the hard truth is our best self. That's where it is. You've got to walk through the fires of the truth in order to get to your best self. But we've stunted our society by lying. We've stunted our society by by sucking the power out of truth. Using half-truths or no-truths to get people to say, Oh, it's okay. You're fine that way. You're, you're wonderful just the way that you are. No matter. You're beautiful in your body. Right? And uh, those lies can be deadly. Those lies have been deadly, proven to be deadly, right? So you're going to hear me talk a lot about truth in the times to come and the days to come because this is the, the, the commodity, the future commodity for anyone with a quarter of a brain left is the truth. You'll seek it out. You'll see it. You'll smell it from far away. And when you get a taste of it, it's like nothing else on the planet Earth. When the propagandists are running On overtime, man, the truth has a certain ring to it. Now, I want to drop some truth on you that's that's hard to deal with, okay? And I set out to make it this way. Now, for in light of recent events, let's go with that. In light of recent events, I was compelled to put together the largest series on the bug out that I know of that's ever been created. I don't know. There could be a bigger one. And if you know it, you can let me know. That's fine. But in the year 2020, I think it was 2020, I took it upon myself to create a six-part bug out series that was six hours long in total. Six shows, six hours, right? A massive series about the bug out and what makes this series great is that I wasn't selling anything right the problem with the bug out is people hide the harsh truths a lot of prepping businesses blogs hide the harsh truths about the bug out and give you the give you the goodies they give you the sweets they give you the candies because they want you to buy a bug out bag or they want you to buy a piece of gear to go in the bug out bag or they want you to take a course on how to build a bug out bag or they want you to get their free ebook on how to you know truth has a certain ring to it <clears throat> so i decided you know what i've been at this for a while i've been poking into the bug out process myself and i've been hitting walls here and hitting walls there and having harsh realizations here and there and i don't see these things everywhere some people talk about them but i don't see them everywhere i don't see them often enough i don't see them nearly as often as i see the word bug out 
right? Or bug out bag or bug out location or bug out vehicle. So today, over at PBNFamily.com, I released the the bug out from start to finish. Six part, six hour series, all in one post. You'll have six different episodes to to listen to. Each one's about an hour long, some are a little longer. And, well, we'll talk about it, okay? Let's talk about each episode so you know what you're getting. Now, this it's true. This is at pbnfamily.com, so this is a membership thing. If you're not a member, why? Why aren't you a member? Why aren't you a member? I mean, seriously. The stu- Like I always tell you, you go to pbnfamily.com and scroll down that page. Membership is 60 bucks for the year, okay? You scroll down that front page, you're going to get... I don't know. I mean, just in the two courses and this bug out series, you're going to get more than your money's worth right off the bat. We sell the courses for 35 bucks each, right? So that's two courses, $70. Your cost for the year is $60 for a year membership. You made your money back already. This bug out series, I don't sell it, so I don't know what the cost of it is, but I can tell you right now it's six hours of my time, which isn't cheap. So... <clears throat> The value is outstanding. The content is prescient. You're always going to get membership content that is either going to make you better in that moment or address an issue that's happening, you know. And that's why I brought this bug out series to the PBN family uh, membership website because UFOs. (laughs) What about that guy, by the way? I mean, you want to talk about truth. You want to talk about truth? I don't know what... Dunce it was from our government, but he was standing up there when they were when they were announcing all the incredible detailed information about the balloons, the recent balloons, the octagonal balloons, right? And that tool said something along these lines. I don't think that the American people have to worry about these things being related to extraterrestrials. I mean, it was, it was so many words that meant nothing. I don't think that the American people have to be worried about, and I'm not giving them verbatim, they don't have to be worried about the fact that there might be or could be extraterrestrial UFO alien life in these balloons or in the skies. They don't have to worry that there might be or there could be or there should be, or maybe they should worry or shouldn't worry, or maybe they could worry. If they wanted to worry, they could worry. What? In God's name, was that guy thinking? He wasn't thinking about truth. Because if he was thinking about truth, he'd have stood up in front of the mic with his nice suit on or whatever the hell he had on and said, yeah, these were not aliens. That's how you address something like that, to scared people, to people who have lives to live and don't have time to sit down and read everything that you say. Can I give you, can I give you some advice, you morons? in front of microphones addressing the American people. Be simple and clear and succinct. We don't have time. We know you're half liars already, so the best thing you could do is just be clear. Hey, what the hell did you shoot down in the sky? People are calling it a UFO. Was it a UFO? Well, we couldn't identify it, so it met the definition of a UFO, but it was not a sci-fi aliens in the cockpit UFO. It wasn't from another planet. It wasn't aliens. Simple. Not, uh, I don't think that the American people should have to worry about whether or not the consideration of this item and object and mysterious thing that has come down from... Shut your mouth. And just tell the truth. So, in light of that, in light of train wrecks and derailments and chemical spills and chemical fires and 200-mile radiuses of effect. I know a lot of preppers and I know a lot of people say, I got to get this bug-out thing figured out. Or, I got a bug-out plan. I'll be good. Both of you, I want you to watch this series, okay? Because your bug-out plan might not be as good as you think it is. Or you might think you have a bug-out plan, but you really don't. So it's a six-parter, part one. 
is basically an intro to the bug out series. What are we going to go into? A lot of good tips, a lot of good stuff in part one. Sets the tone. Part two. And this is a hard, hard episode, right? I hit you in the in the in the solar plexus right off the bat. Part two. Will you slash can you bug out? And the introduction to red out. If you don't know what red out is, you need to learn what red out is if you're gonna have a bug out plan. Okay. Part three. The hard truth about bug out locations. Okay? I'll just get a bug out location. Yeah, that's easy. Bug out location. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I'll give, go out go to a bug out. I'll find one. Oh, you'll find one. Okay. Well, part three, the hard truth about bug out locations. Part four, mapping bug out routes. Okay? Big part of the process people don't usually think about. Oh, I got a bug out location. I got a bug out bag. I'll take the main road from the bug out location or from my home to the bug out location with my bug out bag and everything's good. You can get much deeper. Okay, what happens if a train derails over that road? What are you going to do? You're going to go around it? What if it's spewing out <laughs> toxic chemicals? Okay. Part five. Now, this is what I want you to understand why this series is, is why I'm proud of this series. Okay. Because part five is when we talk about bug out bags. In other words, we do five other parts of this series before we even mention a bug out bag in detail. So part five, bug out bags, the real thing. Okay, this is the real deal on bug out bags. What should go in them, the whole thing, right? What kind of bags to use, right? What are your physical limitations, all of that. Part six, and this is, this, we could have ended with part five. Part six is is something that people don't think about. Most preppers, most regular preppers don't think about part six, and that is in route. What does it look like in route? caches, rally points, arrival. What does it all look like? Okay. Members, you are in for it. Don't thank me. It's my job. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you got something to do this weekend. Really. I can guarantee you no matter who you are, unless you have a bug out plan that you rehearse on a regular basis, then you got me beat. Um, then I can tell you, you're gonna, and even if you do, you're probably still going to learn something from this six-part series because I took a lot of time crafting this series and really thinking through the bug out without a single motivation other than to provide my patrons at the time with the best content possible, okay? Problem was, this series got released in parts. It got released over months at a time. And then it got disappeared within all the other content that we release. So it deserves a home on the front page of PBNFamily.com, and it deserves a place all together in one spot where you incredible supporting members of the Prepper Broadcasting Network can get at it when you want and dig back into the series. And if you are truly interested in creating a bug-out plan, these are the things you have to consider, okay? So whatever you're worried about today, right, chemicals, fires, wildfires, nuclear war, balloons in the sky, I can tell you right now you can shore things up if you are going to commit to a a, a bug-out location and a bug-out plan, right? It's not easy. It's not easy. I will be pre-recorded for the I Am Liberty show tonight. I'm going to I'm going to do my show a little later today and uh it's going to be a navigation of life. That's all. A stroll through life. It'll be news, it'll be goings on in my life, it'll be PBN goings on, it'll be the the preppers in the news segment, it will be the liberty review segment. It will be an I am liberty show. Okay? I hope you enjoy it. Visit pbnfamily.com, check out the membership site, become a Remember, do it for yourself. I'm not trying to break you. I'm not trying to kill your income, okay? I can promise you that it will be an incredible investment of $5 per month, right? I don't even think you can get Hulu for $5 a month. <laughs> we got a ton of great stuff up there, all right? Come join us. Come get in the EOC. Come join us over at Element. Join the live chats. 
get integrated into the Prepper Broadcasting Network. Things are crazy right now. <laughs>